Each of us has a road to take. Satellites are no different than humans in this way. The roads which numerous satellites take around the Earth are called orbits. From an astronomical point of view, an orbit is a path of a celestial body relative to a heavier celestial body. These space pathways are built around the Earth because satellites need to exchange signals with Earth stations. There are three main types of satellite orbits. Low orbit, with an altitude from 160 km to 2000 km. Medium orbit, with an altitude from 2000 km to 20,000 km. And high orbit, with an altitude over 20,000 km. The most populated of high orbits is the geostationary orbit. It's a circular orbit located in the equatorial plane at an altitude of 35,790 km. In the geostationary orbit, the spacecraft moves at a speed equal to that of our planet, making a full revolution every 24 hours. This is why, to an observer on Earth, a satellite in the geostationary orbit looks like a motionless star in the sky. Then there is the high elliptical orbit, that gets its name from, you guessed it, being shaped like an ellipsis. One of its sides is close to Earth at 1,000 km altitude, while the other is far away at about 40,000 km. It is from this far-off point, the apogee of the orbit, that the satellites transmit their signals. Each satellite's orbit is predetermined. The choice of orbit is made before designing the spacecraft and depends on the task that it's going to perform in space. High elliptical orbits, as well as the geostationary orbit, are mainly used for communication and broadcasting satellites. Medium orbits at altitudes close to 20,000 km are usually designated to constellations of navigation satellites while low Earth orbits are home to imaging and climate research satellites, as well as those providing communication. The higher the orbit, the more powerful a satellite's payload must be to provide signal with the required parameters. That is why satellites operating at greater distances from the Earth are usually larger and heavier. And since launching to a higher orbit is both expensive and power-consuming, such satellites have to be designed with a longer lifetime in mind and be immune to the harsh environments they encounter in space. Thus, the satellites traveling at higher orbits carry a great amount of equipment and fuel. Low orbit spacecraft, on the other hand, are much smaller in size and don't live as long, as they are susceptible to the Earth's gravity.